Ukrainians Ukrainian, Ukrainci, Ukrainci, UKR Jin TSI are an East Slavic ethnic group native to Ukraine, which is by total population the sixth largest nation in Europe. The Constitution of Ukraine applies the term Ukrainians to all its citizens. The people of Ukraine have historically been known as Rusins Ruthenians, and Cossacks, among others. According to most dictionary definitions, a descriptive name for the inhabitants of Ukraine is Ukrainian or Ukrainian people. Ethnonym <inaudible> 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 The ethnonym Ukrainians became widely accepted only in the 20th century after their territory obtained distinctive statehood in 1917. From the 14th to the 16th centuries, the western portions of the European part of what is now known as Russia, the territories of northern Ukraine and Belarus western Rus were largely known as Rus, continuing the tradition of Kievan Rus. People of these territories were usually called Rus or Rusins known as Ruthenians in western and central Europe. The Ukrainian language appeared in the 14th-16th centuries with some prototypical features already evident in the 11th century, but at that time, it was mostly known as Ruthenian, like its brothers. In the 16th-17th centuries, with the establishment of the Zaporian Sich, the notion of Ukraine as a separate country with a separate ethnic identity came into being. However, the ethnonym Ukrainians and the linguonym Ukrainian were used only occasionally, and the people of Ukraine usually continued to call themselves and their language Ruthenian. After the decline of the Zaporian Sich and the establishment of Imperial Russian hegemony in Ukraine, Ukrainians became more widely known by the Russian regional name, Little Russians Malarasi, with the majority of Ukrainian elites espousing Little Russian identity. This official name usually regarded now as colonial and humiliating did not spread widely among the peasantry which constituted the majority of the population. Ukrainian peasants still referred to their country as Ukraine a name associated with the Zaporian Sich, with the Hetmanate and with their struggle against Poles, Russians, Turks and Crimean Tatars and to themselves and their language as Ruthenians, Ruthenian. With the publication of Ivan Kotlyarevsky's Enida in 1798, which established the modern Ukrainian language, and with the subsequent Romantic revival of national traditions and culture, the ethnonym Ukrainians and the notion of a Ukrainian language came into more prominence at the beginning of the 19th century and gradually replaced the words Rusins and Ruthenians. In areas outside the control of the Russian, Soviet state until the mid-20th century Western Ukraine, Ukrainians were known by their pre-existing names for much longer. The Appalachian Ukrainians initially came into common usage in central Ukraine and did not take hold in Galicia and Bukovina until the latter part of the 19th century, in Transcarpathia until the 1930s, and in the Presho region until the late 1940s. The modern name Ukrainci Ukrainians derives from Ukraina, Ukraine, a name first documented in 1187. Several scientific theories attempt to explain the etymology of the term. According to the traditional theory especially predominant in Russia, it derives from the Proto-Slavic root asterisk kraj, which has two meanings, one meaning the homeland as in Nash Rodnoy Kraj, our homeland, and the other, edge, border, and originally had the sense of periphery, borderland, or frontier region, etc. According to some new alternative Ukrainian historians such as Ryhori Pavtorik, Vitaly Sklyarenko and other scholars, translate the term Ukraine as inland, homeland, or our country. The name in this context derives from the word Ukraina in the sense of domestic region, domestic land, or country. Inside the country, in the last few centuries the population of Ukraine experienced periods of Polonization and Russification, but preserved a common culture and a sense of common identity. Geographic distribution Most ethnic Ukrainians live in Ukraine, where they make up over three quarters of the population. The largest population of ethnic Ukrainians outside of Ukraine lives in Russia where about 1.9 million Russian citizens consider themselves ethnic Ukrainians, while millions of others primarily in southern Russia and Siberia have some Ukrainian ancestry. The inhabitants of the Kuban, for example, have vacillated among three identities, Ukrainian, Russian an identity supported by the Soviet regime, and Cossack. 
Approximately 800,000 people of Ukrainian ancestry live in the Russian Far East in an area known historically as Green Ukraine. According to some previous assumptions, an estimated number of almost 2.4 million people of Ukrainian origin live in North America 1,359,655 in Canada and 1,028,492 in the United States. Large numbers of Ukrainians live in Brazil 600,000, Kazakhstan 338,022, Moldova 325,235, Argentina 305,000, Germany 272,000, Italy 234,354, Belarus 225,734, Uzbekistan 124,602, the Czech Republic 110,245, Spain 90 and Romania There are also large Ukrainian communities in such countries as Latvia, Portugal, France, Australia, Paraguay, the UK, Israel, Slovakia, Kyrgyzstan, Austria, Uruguay and the former Yugoslavia. Generally, the Ukrainian diaspora is present in more than 120 countries of the world. The number of Ukrainians in Poland amounted to some 51,000 people in 2011, according to the Polish census. Since 2014, the country has experienced a large increase in immigration from Ukraine. More recent data put the number of Ukrainian workers at 1.2 to 1.3 million in 2016. In the last decades of the 19th century, many Ukrainians were forced by the Tsarist autocracy to move to the Asian regions of Russia, while many of their counterpart Slavs under Austro Hungarian rule emigrated to the New World seeking work and better economic opportunities. Today, large ethnic Ukrainian minorities reside in Russia, Canada, the United States, Brazil, Kazakhstan, Italy, and Argentina. According to some sources, around 20 million people outside Ukraine identify as having Ukrainian ethnicity, however the official data of the respective countries calculated together doesn't show more than 10 million. Ukrainians have one of the largest diasporas in the world. <inaudible> Origin The East Slavs emerged from the indifferentiated early Slavs with the Slavic migrations in the 6th and 7th centuries CE. The East Slavs were united in the Kievan Rus during the 9th to 13th centuries. East Slavic tribes cited as Proto-Ukrainian include the Volhynians, Derevlianians, Polianians, and Severianians and the less significant Ulykians, Tvertians, and White Croats. The Gothic historian Jordanes and 6th century Byzantine authors named two groups that lived in the southeast of Europe, Sklavans Western Slavs and Antis. Polyanians are identified as the founders of the city of Kiev and as playing the key role in the formation of the Kievan Rus state. At the beginning of the 9th century, Varangians used the waterways of Eastern Europe for military raids and trade, particularly the trade route from the Varangians to the Greeks. Until the 11th century these Varangians also served as key mercenary troops for a number of princes in medieval Kiev, as well as for some of the Byzantine emperors, while others occupied key administrative positions in Kievan Rus society, and eventually became slavicized. Besides other cultural traces, several Ukrainian names show traces of Norse origins as a result of influences from that period. Differentiation between separate East Slavic groups began to emerge in the later medieval period, and an East Slavic dialect continuum developed within the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, with the Ruthenian language emerging as a written standard. The active development of a concept of a Ukrainian nation and a Ukrainian language began with the Ukrainian National Revival in the early 19th century. In the Soviet era 1917 to 1991, official historiography emphasized the cultural unity of proto-Ukrainians and proto-Russians in the 5th and 6th centuries. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Genetics. The Ukrainian gene pool includes the following Y haplogroups in order from the most prevalent R1A 43% I 23% I2A R1B 8% E1B1B 7% I1 5% N1 5% J2 4% G 
t 1% roughly all R1A Ukrainians carry R1A to Z282 R1A to Z282 has been found significantly only in eastern Europe Chernivtsi Oblast is the only region in Ukraine where haplogroup I2O occurs more frequently than R1A, much less frequent even in Ivano-Frankivsk Oblast. In comparison to their northern and eastern neighbors, Ukrainians have a similar percentage of haplogroup R1A to Z280 in their population. Compare Belarusians, Russians, and Lithuanians and 55%, 46%, and 42% respectively. Populations in Eastern Europe which have never been Slavic do as well. Ukrainians in Chernivtsi Oblast near the Romanian border have a higher percentage of I2 as opposed to R1A, which is typical of the Balkan region, but a smaller percentage than Russians of the N1C1 lineage found among Finnic, Baltic, and Siberian populations, and also less R1B than West Slavs. In terms of haplogroup distribution, the genetic pattern of Ukrainians most closely resembles that of Belarusians. The presence of the N1C lineage is explained by a contribution of the assimilated Finno-Ugric tribes. <inaudible> Sub-ethnic groups Among Ukrainians, there are several distinct sub-ethnic groups, especially in western Ukraine, places like Zakarpasha and Halichina. Among them the most known are Hutsuls, Volhynians, Boykos and Lemkos otherwise known as Rusins, a derivative of Ruthenians, each with peculiar area of settlement, dialect, dress, anthropological type and folk traditions. There are several theories about the origin of each of these groups. Some of these subethnic groups were strongly influenced by the neighboring nations, but according to all relevant indicators they belong to the mainstream of Ukrainian people. History Topic. Early history Ukraine has had a very turbulent history, a fact explained by its geographical position. In the 9th century the Varangians from Scandinavia conquered the Proto-Slavic tribes on the territory of today's Ukraine, Belarus, and western Russia and laid the groundwork for the Kievan Rus state. The ancestors of the Ukrainian nation such as Polyanians had an important role in the development and culturalization of Kievan Rus state. The internecine wars between Rus princes, which began after the death of Yaroslav the Wise, led to the political fragmentation of the state into a number of principalities. The quarreling between the princes left Kievan Rus vulnerable to foreign attacks, and the invasion of the Mongols in 1236, and 1240, finally destroyed the state. Another important state in the history of the Ukrainians is Kingdom of Galicia Volhynia (1199–1349). The third important state for Ukrainians is Cossack Hetmanate. The Cossacks of Zaporizhia, since the late 15th century, controlled the lower bends of the River Dnieper between Russia, Poland, and the Tatars of Crimea, with the fortified capital Zaporian Sich. Hetman Bodin Komelnitsky is one of the most celebrated and at the same time most controversial political figures in Ukraine's early modern history. A brilliant military leader, his greatest achievement in the process of national revolution was the formation of the Cossack Hetmanate state of the Zaporozhian host The period of the ruin in the late 17th century in the history of Ukraine is characterized by the disintegration of Ukrainian statehood and general decline. During the ruin Ukraine became divided along the Dnieper River into left bank Ukraine and right bank Ukraine, and the two halves became hostile to each other. Ukrainian leaders during the period are considered to have been largely opportunists and men of little vision who could not muster broad popular support for their policies. There were roughly 4 million Ukrainians at the end of the 17th century, at the final stages of the First World War, a powerful struggle for an independent Ukrainian state developed in the central Ukrainian territories, which, until 1917, were part of the Russian Empire. The newly established Ukrainian government, the Central Rada, headed by Mikhailo Ryshevsky, issued four universals, the fourth of which, dated the 22nd of January 1918, declared the independence and sovereignty of the Ukrainian National Republic UNR on 25 January 1918. The session of the Central Rada on 29 April 1918 ratified the constitution of the UNR and elected Ryshevsky president. Soviet period 
During 1932–1933 millions of Ukrainians were starved to death by a Soviet regime which led to a famine, known as the Holodomor. The Soviet regime remained silent about the Holodomor and provided no aid to the victims or the survivors. But news and information about what was going on reached the West and evoked public responses in Polish-ruled Western Ukraine and in the Ukrainian diaspora. Since the 1990s the independent Ukrainian state, particularly under President Viktor Yushchenko, the Ukrainian mass media and academic institutions, many foreign governments, most Ukrainian scholars, and many foreign scholars have viewed and written about the Holodomor as genocide and issued official declarations and publications to that effect. Modern scholarly estimates of the direct loss of human life due to the famine range between 2.6 million, 3 to 3.5 million, and 12 million, although much higher numbers are usually published in the media and cited in political debates. As of March 2008, the Parliament of Ukraine and the governments of several countries, including the United States, have recognized the Holodomor as an act of genocide. Topic: <laughs> Historical maps of Ukraine. The Ukrainian state has occupied a number of territories since its initial foundation. Most of these territories have been located within Eastern Europe, however, as depicted in the maps in the gallery below, has also at times extended well into Eurasia and southeastern Europe. At times there has also been a distinct lack of a Ukrainian state, as its territories were on a number of occasions, annexed by its more powerful neighbors. Ethnic, national identity The watershed period in the development of modern Ukrainian national consciousness was the struggle for independence during the creation of the Ukrainian People's Republic from 1917 to 1921. A concerted effort to reverse the growth of Ukrainian national consciousness was begun by the regime of Joseph Stalin in the late 1920s, and continued with minor interruptions until the most recent times. The man-made famine genocide of 1932–33, the deportations of the so-called kulaks, the physical annihilation of the nationally conscious intelligentsia, and terror in general were used to destroy and subdue the Ukrainian nation. Even after Joseph Stalin's death the concept of a Russified though multi-ethnic Soviet people was officially promoted, according to which the non-Russian nations were relegated to second-class status. Despite this, many Ukrainians played prominent roles in the Soviet Union, including such public figures as Semyon Timoshenko. The creation of a sovereign and independent Ukraine in 1991, however, pointed to the failure of the policy of the merging of nations and to the enduring strength of the Ukrainian national consciousness. Today, one of the consequences of these acts is Ukrainophobia. Biculturalism is especially present in southeastern Ukraine where there is a significant Russian minority. Historical colonization of Ukraine is one reason that creates confusion about national identity to this day. Many citizens of Ukraine have adopted the Ukrainian national identity in the past 20 years. According to the concept of nationality dominant in Eastern Europe the Ukrainians are people whose native language is Ukrainian an objective criterion whether or not they are nationally conscious, and all those who identify themselves as Ukrainian a subjective criterion whether or not they speak Ukrainian, attempts to introduce a territorial political concept of Ukrainian nationality on the Western European model presented by political philosopher Vyacheslav Lipinski were unsuccessful until the 1990s. Territorial loyalty has also been manifested by the historical national minorities living in Ukraine. The official declaration of Ukrainian sovereignty of 16 July 1990 stated that, "...citizens of the Republic of all nationalities constitute the people of Ukraine." Culture Due to Ukraine's geographical location, its culture primarily exhibits Eastern European influence as well as Central European to an extent, primarily in the Western region. Over the years it has been influenced by movements such as those brought about during the Byzantine Empire and the Renaissance. Today, the country is somewhat culturally divided with the Western regions bearing a stronger Central European influence and the Eastern regions showing a significant Russian influence. A strong Christian culture was predominant for many centuries, although Ukraine was also the center of conflict between the Catholic, Orthodox and Islamic spheres of influence. Languages 
Ukrainian, Ukrainska mova Ukrainska mova, Ukra jin s ka ma is a language of the East Slavic subgroup of the Slavic languages. It is the only official state language of Ukraine. Written Ukrainian uses the Ukrainian alphabet, one of many based on the Cyrillic alphabet. The Ukrainian language traces its origins to the Old East Slavic language of the medieval state of Kievan Rus. In its earlier stages it was called Ruthenian in Latin. Ukrainian, along with all other East Slavic languages, is a lineal descendant of the colloquial language used in Kievan Rus 10th -13th century. While the Golden Horde placed officials in key Kievan Rus areas, practiced forced resettlement, and even renamed urban centers to suit their own language, the Mongols did not attempt to annihilate Kievan Rus society and culture. The second onslaught began with the destruction of Kiev by the Golden Horde in 1240. This Khanate formed the western part of a great Mongol Empire that had been founded by Genghis Khan in the early 13th century. After the Mongol destruction of Kievan Rus in the 13th century, literary activity in Ukraine declined. A revival began in the late 18th century in eastern Ukraine with overlapping literary and academic phases at a time when nostalgia for the Cossack past and resentment at the loss of autonomy still lingered on. The language has persisted despite several periods of bans and or discouragement throughout centuries as it has always nevertheless maintained a sufficient base among the people of Ukraine, its folklore songs, itinerant musicians, and prominent authors. According to the 2001 Ukrainian census, 67.5% of Ukrainians citizens of Ukraine and 85.2% of ethnic Ukrainians named Ukrainian as their mother tongue, and 14.8% named Russian as their mother tongue. This census does not cover Ukrainians living in other countries. Topic: Religions. Ukraine was inhabited by pagan tribes until Byzantine Rite Christianity was introduced by the turn of the first millennium. It was imagined by later writers who sought to put Kievan Christianity on the same level of primacy as Byzantine Christianity that Apostle Andrew himself had visited the site where the city of Kiev would be later built. However it was only by the 10th century that the emerging state, the Kievan Rus, became influenced by the Byzantine Empire. The first known conversion was by the Princess Saint Olga who came to Constantinople in 945 or 957. Several years later, her grandson, Nyas Vladimir baptized his people in the Dnieper River. This began a long history of the dominance of the Eastern Orthodoxy in Ruthenia, Ukraine. Ukrainians are predominantly Orthodox Christians. In the eastern and southern areas of Ukraine the Ukrainian Orthodox Church under the jurisdiction of the Moscow Patriarchate is the most common. In central and western Ukraine there is support for the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Kiev Patriarchate headed by Patriarch Filaret and also in the western areas of Ukraine and with smaller support throughout the country there is support for the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church headed by Metropolitan Mephody. In the western region known as Galicia the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, one of the Eastern Rite Catholic Churches has a strong membership. Since the fall of the Soviet Union there has been a growth of Protestant churches and Rodnovery, a contemporary Slavic modern pagan religion. There are also ethnic minorities that practice other religions, i.e. Crimean Tatars Islam, and Jews and Karaim Judaism. A 2016 survey conducted by the Razumkov Center found that majority of Ukrainian populations was adhering to Christianity 81.9%. Of these Christians, 65.4% are Eastern Orthodox 25.0% of the Kiev Patriarchate and 15.0% of the Moscow Patriarchate and 1.8% of the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church, and 23.2% are simply Orthodox, 7.1% are simply Christians, 6.5% are Greek Catholics, 1.0% are Latin Rite Catholics and a further 1.9% are Protestants. As of 2016, 16.3% of the population does not claim a religious affiliation, and 1.7% adheres to other religions. According to the same survey, 70% of the population of Ukraine declared to be believers, while 6.3% declared to be non-believers, and 2.7% declared to be atheists. Topic. Music. Ukrainian music incorporates a diversity of external cultural influences. 
It also has a very strong indigenous Slavic and Christian uniqueness whose elements were used among many neighboring nations. Ukrainian folk oral literature, poetry, and songs such as the Duma are among the most distinctive ethnocultural features of Ukrainians as a people. Religious music existed in Ukraine before the official adoption of Christianity in the form of plain song, obichny spiv, or musica practica. Traditional Ukrainian music is easily recognized by its somewhat melancholy tone. It first became known outside of Ukraine during the 15th century as musicians from Ukraine would perform before the royal courts in Poland latter in Russia. A large number of famous musicians around the world was educated or born in Ukraine, among them are famous names like Dmitry Bortniansky, Sergei Prokofiev, Miroslav Skorik, etc. Ukraine is also the rarely acknowledged musical heartland of the former Russian Empire, home to its first professional music academy, which opened in the mid-18th century and produced numerous early musicians and composers. <laughs> dance Ukrainian dance refers to the traditional folk dances of the peoples of Ukraine. Today, Ukrainian dance is primarily represented by what ethnographers, folklorists and dance historians refer to as Ukrainian folk stage dances, which are stylized representations of traditional dances and their characteristic movements that have been choreographed for concert dance performances. This stylized art form has so permeated the culture of Ukraine, that very few purely traditional forms of Ukrainian dance remain today. Ukrainian dance is often described as energetic, fast-paced, and entertaining, and along with traditional Easter eggs pasanky, it is a characteristic example of Ukrainian culture recognized and appreciated throughout the world. Symbols The national symbols of the Ukrainians are the flag of Ukraine and the coat of arms of Ukraine. The national flag of Ukraine is a blue and yellow bicolor rectangle. The color fields are of same form and equal size. The colors of the flag represent a blue sky above yellow fields of wheat. The flag was designed for the convention of the Supreme Ruthenian Council, meeting in Lviv in October 1848. Its colors were based on the coat of arms of the Galicia Volhynia Principality. The coat of arms of Ukraine features the same colors found on the Ukrainian flag a blue shield with yellow trident the symbol of ancient Slavic tribes that once lived in Ukraine, later adopted by Ruthenian and Kievan Rus rulers. See also List of Ukrainian rulers List of Ukrainians Cossacks Green Ukraine Lemkos Rusins Ruthenians Polonization Russification of Ukraine Soviet population transfers Ukrainian dialects Ukrainians in Russia Topic. References Topic. Notes Topic. Footnotes Topic. Sources Topic. Online sources Topic. External links Ukrainian World Congress Ukrainian Diaspora in Canada and USA Ukrainians at Encyclopedia of Ukraine Races of Europe 1942–1943 Hammond's Racial Map of Europe, 1919 National Alumni 1920, Volume. 7 Peoples of Europe, Die Volker Europas 1914 in German Ethno-linguistic map of Europe before 1914 Linguistic divisions of Europe in 1914 in German Ethnic territory of the Ukrainian people in the late 19th and early 20th centuries <laughs>